Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the JDBC call level statements. So, on earlier video tutorial, we have discussed about the uh, JDBC statement as well as prepared statement. Now, let's go through the slide. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss about the how to create call level statement, uh, how to set uh, dynamic parameter values, uh, how to execute the call level statement and finally we'll look into the three types of store procedure para parameter like in out and in out parameters so call level statement basically uh, exists in the java dot sql package right so a call level statement is used to call a stored procedure in database so basically it is used to call a stored procedure as well as a stored functions a uh, stored procedure is a like a function or method in a class except it lives inside the database some database uh, like heavy operations may benefit performance wise from being executed inside the same memory space as the database server uh, as a stored procedure right so a stored procedure basically improves performance of your application right so uh, whatever business logic if you write inside the java memory java program instead of writing that will take a lot of time right and that will consume a lot of memory so instead of writing the business logic you can write on the store procedure itself right and that will be executed on the database side itself while fetching the data itself right now how to create the call level statement so you can you can create an instance of call level statement by calling the prepare call method on the connection object so here is an example sorry uh, here is an example if you have a connection object then you can call prepare call and here you need to pass the uh, store procedure like you can call the store procedure by using the call uh, keyword call a store procedure name and you can pass the input parameter uh, there you are just specifying the placeholder and this placeholder value you need to uh, set by calling setter method right so we have a in prepare statement we have a lot of setter method for most of the data type uh, in the java so similar similarly in call level statement also you have a uh, different setter method for all primitive as well as whatever data type exists in the java if the stored procedure returns a result set and you can and you need a non default result set right with different holdability and concurrency you need to specify these characteristics already when creating a call level statement like here you have a connection object you create the you create the uh, call level statement by calling prepare call so here just you are specifying the store procedure uh, that you want to call and you can specify the result set type like type forward only uh, concur read only and close cursors over the commit so uh, we'll have a separate uh, deep dive video on result set itself so what is the meaning of these constants uh, will uh, go through in that video itself so right now you don't need to worry so if even though if your store procedure returns result set then this this constant you can leave and we have a method is called prepare call which accepts only one string and that is nothing but the calling the store procedure and these are the things will be taken as a def default so we'll discuss about these things now uh, once uh, you cre create a SQL uh, uh, once you uh, create a call level statement I, and and you try to call the stored procedure then you have a input parameter so how you are going to set values for the input parameter that we are going to see like setting parameter values you can set parameters in the SQL at the places where the uh, you have a you have put a question mark right and that is nothing but a placeholder like you have a connection prepare call now you are calling uh, a store procedure like uh, call calculate statistics and you have a two parameter so these two parameter you are going to set like this call level statement dot set string and you are just specifying the index of first parameter is one and this is type of a string then you are passing a string and second parameter is a type of integer so that's why you are calling a setter method of integer passing the index and just you are passing the value so this way you can pass the input parameter value just like a prepare statement now how you can execute the call level statement so once you have set the parameter values you need to set you are ready to execute the 
callable statement so here is an example so callable statement dot execute query this will return you the result set the execute query method is used if the store procedure returns a result set if the store procedure just updates the database you can call execute of that method instead right so if your store procedure returns some result set then you need to call execute query just like a prepare statement if your store procedure uh, do some updation on the database side then you will need to call execute update this is very similar to prepare statement now we'll discuss about the three types of a store procedure parameter uh, the prepared statement uh, object only uses the input in parameter the callable statement object can use all three type of parameter like in out and in out parameters while you creating the store procedure uh, what is in parameter a uh, parameter whose values is unknown when the sql statement is created uh, you bind the values of in parameter with the <coughs> sorry set triple x method so set triple x is nothing but the triple x method nothing but it's a different type of primitive data type or a string or any other data type which, which exists in the uh, database so we have a different setter method uh, in the prepared statement as well as callable statement so you can call those methods to set the values for the placeholder now out parameters so here in parameters means whatever input parameter is getting uh, input parameters is your store procedure takes those parameter you need to pass using in parameters how we can define the output parameter using the out keyword so a parameter whose values is supplied by the sql statement it returns you retrieve values from the out parameter with the get triple x method right so triple x is nothing but the diff different primitive as well as some other data type so we have a different getter method for different data type in the call level statement as well as prepare statement so output out is nothing but the what output parameter is getting returned by the stored procedure after execution so that is the output parameter now in out this is the combination of these two this will work as a input parameter as well as output parameter a parameter that provides both input and output values you bind uh, variable with the set triple x method and retrieve values with the get triple x method right so in out works that is the combination of in and out parameters so using in out you can take the input parameter and you can get the output parameter from the store procedure now uh, this is the code snippet so here basically just we are trying to call the store procedure which takes two input parameter uh, and this returns the call level statement now for these two input parameter you need to set like this set a string suppose first parameter is a type of a string then you are setting values for like this and uh, second parameter is an integer so you are setting values for this and suppose your store procedure returns two output parameter first is a worker and if you compare with the from database perspective is worker but uh, in java perspective uh, that is a, a string right and second parameter is an integer so this output parameter first of all you will have to register like callable statement dot register output parameter and you need to specify the uh, index and data type similarly you will have to register the second parameter as well now once ex uh, you execute you call the execute query then this returns the result set and you can get uh, these two output by passing this index so first parameter was worker so this will return you a string as a output parameter and second parameter is an integer so this returns you the integer so this is just a code snippet i don't know i don't think so you'll understand 100 percent unless i do not go for the live example so in next video i'm going to show you so something mistake is over here so let me so in next video tutorial i am going to show you some uh, live demo so that uh, we'll have clear understanding about the callable statement uh, and uh, i'll go through the how to create the store procedure and all store procedure and store functions and how to make call from the java program using callable statements so that's all in this video tutorial thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial with some hands-on example